Yes, I will. <laughs> year anniversary card that he gave me because I keep all my cards. So this is from the 8th of November 2020. Mm. Little bag and it says this bag contains some confetti to celebrate our special day, a peg to hold us together through thick and thin, a diamond to remind you how precious you are to me, a flower for the beautiful life we are growing together, a puzzle piece because you complete me, and a heart to remind you that I love you on this day and forever. Aww. That's so cute. That's That's nice. Nice. It's my wedding scent I never wear it, I never wore it before. But we went and picked it out, yeah, we went and picked it out together. Yeah, yeah.
How many alloys have you done in the last couple of weeks at work? <laughs> <laughs> Too many. Beauty, this in it.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of North Yorkshire Registration Service, we'd like to welcome you here to this beautiful venue on this special day. Jonathan and Rachel want to welcome you all to help them share this ceremony with them and the celebration afterwards. My name's Christine Kohler and it's my absolute honour to do your ceremony today. So may I ask who gives Rachel's hand in marriage today? Thank you, Thank you Nigel. So before we begin, can I ask each of you in turn to confirm your full name, starting with the groom? Jonathan Richard Wicks. Thank you. Rachel Simpson. Thank you. This place in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages and you are all here today to witness the joining in matrimony of Jonathan Richard Weeks and Rachel Alice Simpson. If there is any person here today who knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, they should declare it now. <laughs> Before you were joined in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows that you're about to make. Marriage in this country is the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life and to the exclusion of all others. So now I'm going to ask each of you in turn to declare that you do not know of any lawful reason why you should not be married to each other. Are you, Jonathan Richard Weeks, free lawfully to marry Rachel Alice Simpson? I am. Good, let me check. <laughs> yes, that's okay. <laughs> Your turn. So by replying I am to my question, are you, Rachel Alice Simpson, free lawfully to marry Jonathan Richard Weeks? such a relief. <laughs> <laughs> and we now have a reading for you that Vicky's going to do for you. Do you want to come and join me here, Vicky? You have known each other from the first, first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, you've been making commitments in an informal way. All of those conversations that were held in a car or over a meal or during long walks, all those conversations that began with when we're married and continued with I will and you will and we will. All those late night talks that included someday and somehow and maybe. And all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. All these common things and more are the real process of a wedding. The symbolic vows that you are about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things that we've promised and hoped and dreamed? Well, I meant it all, every word. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you've been many things to one another, acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, even teacher. For you have learned much from one another these past few years. Shortly, you shall say a few words that will take you across a threshold of life and things will never quite be the same between you. For after today, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. Oh, thank you, Victor. Oh, thank you, Vic. What got very true words they are, aren't they? The institution of marriage must be entered into freely, voluntarily, and with the full and unreserved consent of you both. Therefore, do you, Jonathan, take Rachel here present to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. And do you, Rachel, take Jonathan here present to be your lawful wedded husband? So those that are able to comfortably stand, could you stand for this part of the ceremony? Hi, Jonathan Richard Weeks. 
Take you, Rachel Alice Simpson. Take you, Rachel Alice Simpson. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Rachel Alice Simpson. I, Rachel Alice Simpson. Take you, Jonathan Richard Weeks. Take you, Jonathan Richard Weeks. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Now, Rachel and Jonathan have got some vows that they'd like, they've written to say to each other. And um, do you want to go? Or would you rather do yours yeah, first? I'll go first. Well, Johnny, as you know, I can be such an indecisive person and can sometimes struggle to make decisions. But if there is one decision that I am certain is the right one, it is to spend the rest of my life with you. I feel like the luckiest girl in the world standing here marrying you today. I am so grateful for the last six years with you, of all the wonderful memories we have made and all that we have achieved. You truly are an incredible person and you make me smile every single day and I am so proud of the man you are. As your wife, I promise to always treat you with kindness, respect and compassion. I promise to listen, to hear, to be understanding and to always consider your feelings. I promise to be, always be your biggest supporter, to feign an interest in golf and to be patient with you, with you even when it's a Masters weekend and I can't get you away from the telly. Uh, I promise to encourage you and to support you through life challenges because if we stand together there's nothing that we cannot face. I promise to take your needs, hopes and dreams on with my own and to try every single day to make a life that makes us both very happy. And I promise to let you know each day through my words and actions that I love you more than anything else in the world. From this day on I will always be by your side, loving you, pushing you, celebrating with you and growing with you. I will be faithful and loyal, not only as your wife, but as your best friend. I am excited for our future together and can't wait to grow old with you because, Johnny, you make me happier than I ever thought I could be. Rach, there are so many things I want to say to you. There are so many things I want you to know. You've made me happier than I could ever imagine I could be. You've given me that special, something special in life that many people never have, and that's true love and happiness. I remember seeing you for the first time and feeling in my stomach you were someone I needed to know. You were the most beautiful girl I'd ever seen. I was planning our first date before I'd even spoken to you. You're so kind, loving, selfless and caring. You're the most kind-hearted person I know, and you'll do anything for anyone. You've supported me, comforted me, and sometimes talked sense into me. I can't believe how lucky I am to have found someone so perfect as you. If you could see yourself for a minute through my eyes, any insecurities, self-doubts or reservations would be gone. To me, you are perfect. And even though we drive each other crazy at times, I will never forget how incredible you are. We've achieved so much in the last six years, from renting together to owning our lovely little home, from spa weekends and romantic nights away to our well-earned holidays abroad. Every morning I wake up next to you, I have everything I could ever need or want right there. Holding you in my arms is the greatest feeling in the world and always will be. I promise to respect, admire, appreciate you for who you are as well as the person you wish to become. I promise to protect you with my life and spend every day making you the happiest person on this planet. When you need a shoulder to cry on, a person to talk to or a kiss goodnight, I'll be there for you always and forever. Thank you for being the most amazing person. You simply complete me and I can't wait to start this adventure with you. I love you. Well done, both Thank of you. you. They're beautiful words. Thank, Thank you. you. And I think Lee, yes. Wonderful, he's got the room. So if you could sort of, yes, if you stand next to it. And then if you offer the, bo the box, just offer the box, isn't it? That's it. So if you pop it on, that's it. Thank you. Just pop it onto the knuckle and repeat after me. Rachel, I give you this ring. Rachel, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and affection. As a symbol of my love and affection. Please wear it with a feeling of warmth and pride. Please wear it with a feeling of warmth and pride. Now and always. Now and always. That's it. Will it go on now? Yeah. Of course, it be. No. <laughs> Not easy. To... Well done. So, can you offer the box to... That's it. Just wait with me. Thank you. So, that's it. Thank you. Just to it. Jonathan, I give you this ring. 
Jonathan, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and affection. As a symbol of my love and affection. Please wear it with a feeling of warmth and pride. Please wear it with a feeling of warmth and pride. Now and always. Now and always. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Works. Oh, thank you. Take a seat. Get to be seated now. <laughs> the purpose of marriage is that you may always love, care for and support each other through all the joys and indeed the sorrows that come along in life and that love will be fulfilled in a relationship of permanent and continuing commitment. And everybody here, and myself and Ren, it's so clear that, you, that that's going to happen. You're going to be so happy together and look after each other. Jonathan and Rachel, you have made the declarations prescribed by law and you have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your family, your friends, the witnesses and the registrar today. And it is my absolute honour to tell you that you're now legally married man and wife. Would you like to see the <laughs> The last six years have been incredible, the best six years of my life. You look absolutely flawless today. The most beautiful person on this planet. I've waited a long time to experience that moment where I turn around and see you stuck at the bottom of the aisle. You completely took my breath away. I want to thank you for all the wonderful things you do for us both. You made me want to be a better man, a loving husband and a devoted father one day. I can't wait to continue to hold hands with you, laugh with you, tell you my stupid jokes, have dinner together and moan about work together. I may not be able to solve all of your problems in the future, nor you mine, but one thing I promise is that you'll never have to face any of them alone anymore. You are so deserving of happiness, of everything positive and happy in life. Rachel will often say I love you, to which I respond and say I love you more and she will disagree, we will go back and forth to no end. After today, I think I can finally explain to her what I really mean. So Rachel, when I say love you more, I don't mean I love you more than you love me. I mean I love you more than the bad days ahead of us. I love you more than any disagreement we ever have. I love you more than any amount of distance keeping us apart. And I love you more than any obstacle that would try and come between us. I love you more than anything. So from now on, know that when I say I love you, I don't just say it out of habit, I say it as a reminder to you of this day, those promises, and because you are the best thing that's ever happened to me.
Let's have a little kiss. A little, little kiss. 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 Okay. <laughs> Thing that's on your mind? Cheeseburgers. Rich? <laughs> it wasn't food! <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. You said food! I couldn't do the x ray version. <laughs>